Hi, I'm Graham Brashear, and you're watching the Permanent Rain Press. Hi, everyone. It's Chloe with the Permanent Rain Press, and today I'm happy to be joined by Graham Brashear. How's it going? Great. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So you've been really busy as of late. Let's start off by talking about The Good Doctor. It's such a phenomenal show. I know before you mentioned that the show brought in an autism specialist to work with yourself and Freddie Highmore for your role as Sean Murphy. So what kind of things did you learn that really helped you in your performance? Um, when I first auditioned, um, my mom started helping me out because she works with a lot of kids with autism. So um, I think that helped from the very beginning. But um, when they brought in a specialist on autism, uh, she taught us stuff like, first of all, it was making sure that Freddie and I were doing the same thing because um, every person with autism is so unique. You can't just say, like, this is autism and it's the same. Um, but it was things like um, like tics and anxiety and how Sean would deal with that. And um, I think it's called a perseveration, which um, for Sean is surgery and it's just like a hyper focus um and it was things like that that just really helped it um sort of flesh out you do a great job in this role unfortunately we didn't get to see too many flashbacks in season two but the show was renewed for season three so hopefully more to come and um, you have great on-screen chemistry with uh dylan kingwell who plays your brother steve in the show did you know each other before you started filming um honestly i can't remember if we knew each other before but yeah. I'm sure we'd probably seen each other like in audition rooms before, but um, um, he's just, he's a really cool guy. Um, and we're still friends. We haven't um, been able to see each other much recently because we've both been busy like he's doing Netflix stuff now, yeah. um, which is super cool. But yeah, no, he's, he's awesome and really talented too. So Supergirl's another project you worked on a bit recently. The show has an enormous fan base. What was it like being on set of this one? Um, it was really, really cool. Um, I mean, my role is kind of different from other things I get to do because, I mean, it's not often that, like, a kid will get to be involved in, like, action sequences. Yeah. Um, but in my very first episode, I got to watch my house get blown up. Um, but it was really cool because originally I think I was um, only written into that one episode, but... They brought me back for more, which was just super exciting. And um, it's really cool uh, seeing the fan base and seeing um, these really talented people just because they've been doing it for years. So they're all really good friends. Yeah. Um, so show stoppers I want to talk about is something interesting. I remember watching you guys perform the anthem at the Canucks game at oh, Rogers yeah. Arena, and I was like thinking, oh, there's like some actors in here. So it's a young performance group. Um, it gives you a lot of experience, like mm -hmm. musicals, local festivals, stuff like that. Um, tell me about your background in musical theater and how this came about. Um, so, I mean, if you know me personally, then you would know that I'm not the type of person who would normally do something like Showstoppers, which is like a singing and dancing performing group. And I'm usually not that type of person, but it's it's a group of like, um, I mean, they're my closest friends, um, which already makes it worth it. But it's also just, it helped take me out of my comfort zone, which um, really helped with a lot of things in my life because it was I was also surrounded by people who just kind of didn't care what anyone thought of them. And it really helped a lot, um, combined with the fact that it's a group of, like, some of, in my opinion, the most talented kids in the city um, just having fun together, which is really, really cool to see again. And I guess that kind of translates into you as an actor, as you mentioned, helping you get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Um, like, I mean, I would get pretty bad anxiety about, like, interviews and stuff like this. Um, and it's kind of, I guess, unrelated the way that I interact with um, my friends, but just that um, aspect of like coming out of my comfort zone and seeing like, hey, it's okay, nobody really cares. Um, or well, that's not true, but um, but like people don't care as much as you think they do in a negative way. Um, and it just helped me kind of relax about 
everything. It's great to have that learning experience, as you yeah. mentioned, kind of um, in hand to hand with Showstoppers, obviously doing a lot of exciting things. Um, another exciting project you have upcoming, uh, Star Girl. So you filmed that recently, I believe, like late last year. Um, tell me a bit about this project and your character. So it's based off of a book um, by Jerry Spinelli called Star Girl. Um, and I mean, I read the book. Um, during the audition process, and I absolutely loved it. It's one of my favorite books. Um, it's just so well written, and it it's so relatable for everyone. Um, but it was absolutely amazing to film. Um, I made some really good friends, and um, yeah, I'm I'm super excited for people to see it. I think it's gonna be, um, I think it's gonna be really good. Um, if it's anything like the book. So you start opposite um, Grace Vanderbilt of America's Got Talent fame. So it's interesting because she's kind of a singer first, now going into acting. And then um, I hope, hopefully there'll be some musical numbers for you and you're kind of going from acting and hopefully some singing yeah. as well. So like, what was it like working with her? Um, she is, I mean, she's super cool, um, first of all, but she's also one of the most talented people I've ever met, um, which was really, really, um, amazing because like like you said she's not an actor um she is a singer first and foremost and she just kind of jumped into it and you never would have been able to guess which is crazy because i can't i can't really remember my first day on set but it's it was just like a blur of like stress and like am i supposed to be here what am i supposed to be doing here and she just settled right in Awesome, and it's a high school setting, so um, hopefully a lot of like lessons to take away. I know there are themes of kind of like acceptance um, mm -hmm. first and foremost mm -hmm. as well. So, what was it like, kind of just being on set? I know you probably can't give too much away, but just working with a bunch of you know talented rising actors. Um, I don't actually know how much I'm allowed to talk about. Right. Um, but I do know. Did you because... have fun on your off days? Like, did you get to explore the town, New Mexico? Yeah, I didn't get um, <laughs> a lot of days off, unfortunately. Um, cause I mean, we worked five days a week and yeah. then because I'm a minor, um, and school. I was missing school. Yeah. So I would have, I'd, I think it was one to five hours of school every day, including on one of the days off, which means I was working six days a week. Um, except for like a few, I think there was maybe one or two days where, um, I wasn't actually filming. Um, and we got to explore yeah. Albuquerque, and one weekend we went up to Santa Fe, um, and we saw the Balloon Festival um, on a different weekend. Um, and yeah, it was really, really cool, and we did get some time to explore. Awesome. Well, really excited to see the film, hopefully next year on Disney streaming service. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about um, your twin. You have a twin <laughs> brother, Toby. I'm a twin as well. When people find out that you're a twin, what is the one question you get asked the most? Okay. So first of all, it would be, assuming like they don't uh, know us as twins, it would first be like, um, wait, are you guys identical? And we're not identical, we're fraternal twins. Um, but the most annoying thing is that people who know us separately, like they might be friends with him and then friends with me, but they don't realize we're related, or they, don't re they realize that we're related, but not that we're twins. They'll have, it'll be fine um, to differentiate us, but as soon as they find out we're twins, they'll start mixing up our names just because, like, oh, they're twins, they're the same person, which I think is really, really fun. Yeah, that is, it does get a bit annoying at times, but, like, you know it's kind of all in good fun. Do you believe in twin telepathy, though? Um, I don't think so. No? Maybe it's because we're not identical. Maybe that's an identical twin thing, but, um, close to, Closest I can think of is um, having a similar sense of humor, I guess, or, um, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, when you grow up with someone, you kind of, like, you um, have the same surroundings, so um, hopefully you two get along really well, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, we do. So who are you currently listening to on your playlist, music-wise? <laughs> so I didn't really listen to music, um, like, on my own for, for a long time. Um, I kind of just listened to whatever was on the radio or whatever my parents were listening to. Um, and then I got um, a pair of earbuds and I started walking home from school and I started actually kind of choosing what music I wanted to listen to. And it was like, now I have this really, really weird mix of like 80s stuff that I did grow up listening to, um, to, I guess, weirder stuff to um, 
even like musical theater, um, which can be really fun. And it's just like a, a weird mix, again, of like 80s stuff and like, I guess, maybe softer guitar songs and more modern stuff. And it's just, I don't even know how um, or what to call it. <laughs> it's good to be absorbing like all different kinds of genres and styles. As you mentioned, it would suit like your musical side and then hopefully like 80s, like classic stuff yeah. as well. Awesome. And lastly, your signature question, if you could be any ice cream flavor, which would you be and why? Okay. Is this like, what's my favorite ice cream flavor? If you could or describe like... yourself as an ice cream flavor. Oh, okay. Um... See, I'm I'm having a hard time choosing between vanilla and um, mint chocolate chip, which would be probably... I mean, I would say mint chocolate chip is my favorite flavor, but um, oh, it might be too good of a flavor to say that I am mint chocolate chip. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna go with okay. Chocolate. Don't you're like don't sell yourself <laughs> short. Yeah, that's a good answer. Well, thanks so much, Graham, for taking the Thank time to so chat. Really appreciate me. it. Stay tuned for all Graham's upcoming projects, including Star Girl, hopefully out next year. But we'll be posting social media links below. Um, so we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much.